We get a lot of questions on our bedwood kit, drilled, undrilled, oak, pine. So today I'm at Brothers Tech Center to show you your differences so you can get the right choice for your truck. First thing I want to cover is drilled versus undrilled. Right here in this pine board, you'll notice it has a recessed section right here, and then it has a hole that is off center. Now the reason that's like that is because you're going to take a washer just like this, and you can notice that it is also off centered, and the hole there is a square square hole. So you're just going to take this washer and you're just going to line it up with the hole right there. And then you're going to take a carriage bolt like this. Now the top right here is just nice and button head, but on the bottom of that it is also squared and that's going to line up with a square in the washer there. Now the reason this is like this is so that when the bed is assembled and you're tightening this bolt on the bottom, this won't rotate, it'll stay still. So that just add, aids in the installation of your bed. Now personally, I like to go with undrilled in my bed wood because I think the smooth look looks better. Now either bed kit you get, drilled or undrilled, it will not, I repeat not, come with these holes right here drilled. And the reason for that is the trucks over the years when they were made, there were minor idiosyncrasies. Maybe you got in an accident, maybe when they assembled it, it was just a little bit off. So what you're gonna wanna do is make sure that the bed wood is trial fitted first. You'll go ahead and put in all your wood, you'll uh, even it all out, and you'll make sure that it's fitting properly, your bed is all squared. Then you'll mark your holes, you'll go ahead and drill them, then you'll even test fit them again to make sure that they're fitting properly. If you want to watch a video on that, it's right here. Now, now let's take a look at the difference between oak and pine. Pine is, um, the grain show up really nice too. It's got kind of a yellowy tinge. Of course, there are millions of different tints that you can achieve any kind of color that you're going for. If you're gonna be painting the wood bed black like it was originally, maybe I would just go with a pine. Oak, however, is a tougher wood. It's a bit stronger. That might be a concern for you. You can see that your um, oak grains, they might be a little bit more muted, but you can stain those to bring the grain out a lot better. I've got a video on prepping the wood right here for you. You can check that out after this one. Another thing I might want to mention too is that the bed wood strips. We've got a lot of different choices on that. Raw steel and hidden bolts and all kinds of stuff like that right here. So check that video out too when you're assembling your bed. You want to get everything at one time so you don't get halfway through your project and have to order some more stuff. So I hope all of that information is going to help you out and the additional videos make your bed be the best bed you can have. My name is David Welch. I'm at Brothers Tech Center every single Tuesday making sure your truck gets back on the road and looking good. I'll see you next Tuesday. You make sure you subscribe. You hear?